Hi, I'm Carly Kloss. Growing up, I was always a little bit of a science geek, still am, and I always loved learning about the whys and the hows of the way the world worked. But one part of the science world that I didn't know much about was computer science. I was always so curious about tech and the languages that power it, and my questions were endless. So I dove headfirst into the world of computer science by taking a coding class. I learned so much, but honestly, I left with even more questions than I had walked in with. Why had I never been exposed to coding education before? Why were there so few women in my class? And what other opportunities existed out there in the STEM fields? And when I dug deeper into answering these questions, I discovered that there were so many factors contributing to a lack of representation in the world of technology, especially for women of color, women from economically disadvantaged communities, and non-binary individuals and trans women. Across the country, only 45% of high schools teach computer science. And that's typically in schools that have extensive resources. So students attending schools in historically marginalized communities are already at a disadvantage. Imagine trying to break into an industry that you never learned about. Even if their schools provide a computer science program, girls and non-binary students often don't feel comfortable or welcome in computer science classrooms. Teachers and peers, whether they intend to or not, can perpetuate unconscious biases they have about who belongs in tech fields. I was in another coding class where I was one of four girls, I think this time, and the professor felt that the, the male students were probably gonna perform better in some ways. Um, and he actually said that word for word. He was like, males are like, like have a brain where like sometimes it's easier for them to like grasp this and like my mouth just dropped. I was like, what in the world is going on here? Imagine feeling like your teachers can't see your full potential. This doesn't stop in the classroom. The same stereotypes about being a woman or non-binary person in STEAM are perpetuated in the media, popular culture, and the workplace. When you envision a coder or computer scientist, who do you see? Chances are you're imagining someone who looks like this or this. Portrayals of coders as magical white men creating genius innovations further reinforce the idea that the world of technology doesn't have a place for women and folks of color. While 57% of the jobs in the United States are held by women, we make up only 26% of all computing and math roles. For the women who are in those roles, the workplace can be unwelcoming and isolating. Imagine working somewhere where barely anyone looks like you. The problem is bias in education. The problem is representation. At Code with Clossy, we want to create access, reduce bias, and increase representation. We're part of a movement to inspire and empower young women and non-binary students, particularly students from historically marginalized racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups. We provide opportunities to learn not just about coding, but about the culture of technology and the deep implications of inequity in STEM. Because COVID Classy is geared towards, you know, women, non-binary folks, the conversations we had about how different and safe this space was versus being maybe the only person that looks like them and feels like them in, in their class, that I think was the most powerful movement to be surrounded again on Zoom, like with all these faces of like, wow, look at now all of these connections I've made across the country and across the world. We foster uplifting environments where scholars feel supported and inspired by their peers. From day one of camp, scholars learn to code using the same tools that software developers do. They get to design and build websites, mobile apps, and data visualizations centered on an issue that they're passionate about. They stress us creating projects that are about something we really care about. But with Classy, you really have the room to build whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. Scholars walk away from our programs with even more confidence, a little bit more pep in their step, a community of lifelong friends, and technical skills that they can really use to propel their future careers. I hope to see a world one day where women no longer are in spaces where they're alone. I feel like I have this community and this alumni of Coast Classy Scholars, but just of um, women in, uh, of color in general. There's this like 
idea of like a gender gap in almost all industries and like how do you push the envelope and I think the way you push the envelope is exactly with programs like COVID Posse 